हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल केटॉनिक माय नेम इज़ मोहसिन कमाल इन टुडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू मेक एन अमेजिंग प्रोजेक्ट अ फिंगरप्रिंट सेंसर डोर लॉक सिस्टम दे दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज ग्रेट फॉर होम सिक्योरिटी एज इट ओनली अलाउज ऑथराइज पीपल टू अनलॉक द डोर आई विल एक्सप्लेन द कम्प्लीट सर्किट डायग्राम कोडिंग एंड वर्किंग ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट स्टेप बाई स्टेप मेक श्योर टू वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड सो यू डोंट मिस एनी A few days ago I made a video in which I used RFID and a keypad. If you want to watch that video, I have provided the link in the description. You can check it out from there. First, we will take a fingerprint module and a four wire connector. Then, we will connect this connector to the fingerprint module like this. In this, starting from the right side, the first wire is VCC. Black wire is TX. next black wire is rx and the last wire red is ground after that we will take an arduino uno and solder the fingerprint sensor to it connect the vcc to the 3.3v pin the tx to pin 2 of the arduino and the rx to pin 3 of the arduino Now we will connect the Arduino to the computer to upload the program. First open your Arduino IDE software. Then go to the file menu and click on new sketch. After that, go to the tools menu and click on manage libraries. A search bar will appear. In the search bar, type fingerprint sensor and search for it. Once it appears, install the library. After installing the library, go back to the file menu and click on examples. Here you will see a folder named fingerprint sensor library. Open it and look for the example file named enroll. Click on the enroll example and a code will open. Upload this code to your Arduino board. Once the code is uploaded go to the tools menu and open the serial monitor in the serial monitor it will ask you to enter an id for the fingerprint this id can be any number like 1 2 or 3 depending on how many fingerprints you want to store if you want to store only one fingerprint you can stop after adding the first one but if you want the door lock to open with multiple fingerprints you can add more fingerprints by assigning them different ids for this demonstration i will add only one fingerprint So I will type 2 in the serial monitor as the ID and press enter or click send. The serial monitor will now ask me to place my finger on the fingerprint sensor. I will gently place my finger on the sensor. After a moment it will ask me to remove my finger. Next, I will follow the instruction to place my finger on the sensor again for confirmation. If the fingerprint matches successfully, the system will display fingerprint stored successfully. This means the fingerprint has been saved and is ready to use. If you want to add more fingerprints repeat the process with a new ID however since i only need one fingerprint for this project i will stop here now that the fingerprint has been added successfully let's move on to the main code open the main code file at the top of the code you will see that some libraries are mentioned Go to the tools menu and click on manage libraries. Copy the library names mentioned at the top of the code and paste them into the search bar one by one. Install each required library from the search results. After installing the libraries, make sure to select the correct board and port. Click the upload button to upload the code to your Arduino. The link to the code will be provided in the description of this video so you can download it directly from there.
that everything is set up, let me demonstrate how the fingerprint door lock works. Place your enrolled finger on the fingerprint sensor. You will see the sensor light up as it scans your fingerprint. If the fingerprint is recognized, you will see a message on the OLED button door open. This will trigger the servo motor to rotate, unlocking the door. After a few seconds, the servo motor will return to its original position, locking the door. Now, let's try using an unregistered fingerprint. The door lock remains closed. This is how the fingerprint door lock system functions. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like this video to show your support. Comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. Subscribe to my channel for more amazing DIY projects. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss an update. Also, share this video with your friends who love electronics and Arduino projects. The link to the code and circuit diagram is in the description. So check it out. See you in the next video.